Today, we learn about Texas, the Lone Star State. Feel free to use the worksheet we have created that is aligned with this video found in the description below and watch to the end to take our quiz about Texas. Keep watching to learn about the second most populous state in our country and to discover our world in a meaningful way. Howdy, partner. Texas is home to the Alamo, one of the most famous historical sites in the United States. An important battle of the Texas Revolution, the Battle of the Alamo was fought between 200 Texans led by James Bowie, William Travis, and Davy, Davy Crockett, and 5,000 Mexican soldiers led by General Santa Ana. The 13-day siege ended with the death of all but three of the Texans. The battle has been shown in a number of movies and is a worldwide symbol of fighting in a heroic struggle against impossible odds. It's important to never give up on something, if you believe in it enough. It might be important to know where Texas is on a map. Texas is in the southwest region of the United States of America. It's the second biggest state behind Alaska. Much of Texas makes up the southern part of the Great Plains, a large flatland in the center of North America that extends all the way up to Canada. The other major regions of Texas include the Gulf Coast Plains, interior lowlands, and the Basin and Range Provinces. The capital of Texas is Austin. Texas has an amazing economy. What can you tell us about it, Professor? Texas leads the country in cattle ranching, oil, and cotton productions. At last count, there were almost 4.5 million beef cows in Texas, about twice as much as any other state. Texas produces about 40% of the nation's cotton crop on over 6 million acres of land. And around one-third of all proven petroleum deposits in the country are in Texas, and over three million barrels are produced here each day. From 1846 to 1848, the United States of America fought a war with our neighbors to the south, Mexico. Now known as the Mexican-American War, Mexico and the Republic of Texas both wanted the same piece of land. The land they both wanted was north of the river called the Rio Grande. The war ended after two years and the United States took over the lands that later became the states of New Mexico, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, California, Texas, and Western Colorado. There were a lot of famous Texans. Choosing one was hard. Texan Dwight Eisenhower was the 34th president of the United States from 1953 until 1961. He kept America at peace during a difficult time in our history, negotiated the end of the Korean War, established the interstate highway system, and allowed for the creation of NASA. Before he was president, this native son of Texas was a five-star general and was the supreme commander of the Allied forces in World War II. In this section, we like to celebrate the diversity of America. A group of people unique to Texas are Tejanos, people of Hispanic origin whose ancestors have lived in Texas since well before Texas was ever a part of the United States. Including Tejanos and recent immigrants from Mexico, Central America, and South America, over 37% of the population of Texas is Hispanic. All my exes live in Texas. Often confused with traditional Mexican food, most of the Mexican food in the United States is in fact Tex-Mex. The native Texans, or Tejanos, also played a huge role in one of the most popular types of food in the United States, Tex-Mex, created in Texas. Tejanos and settlers had different ingredients than most of the people in Mexico bringing flour tortillas and beef with them. So what are some Tex-Mex creations? That fajita you love? Tex-Mex. Popular dishes that are distinctly Tex-Mex include nachos, chili con carne, chimichangas, burritos, enchiladas, and many other dishes you will find in a Mexican restaurant. Tacos is the best. Also, Spanish rice. You know I was going to say that, right? I love tacos. How about this one? Texas is bigger than any country in Europe. If Texas were its own country, it would be the 40th largest in land area. With an area of 268,000 square miles, Texas is second in size only to Alaska. 
A popular tourist attraction in Texas is the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center in Houston. NASA's Center for Human Spaceflight, this is where astronaut training, research, and flight control are done for NASA. It is also home to NASA's Mission Control Center, which communicates with astronauts when they're in space. Houston, we have a problem. The Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center in Houston is a wonderful place to learn about space exploration, upcoming missions, NASA's latest projects, and maybe even meet an astronaut. And also, Texas used to be its own country. Now that we've learned about Texas, let's see what you know about it. Number one, which American president from Texas was also the Supreme Allied Commander in World War II? If you chose B. Dwight Eisenhower, you are correct. Number two, what is the name of the Hispanic Americans who culturally are descended from the original Spanish-speaking settlers of Texas, long before it ever became a state? The answer to that question would be D, Tejanos. Number three, much of Texas makes up the southern part of what region? A large flatland in the center of North America that extends all the way from Texas into Canada. The area that this question describes is A, the Great Plains. Number four, an important battle of the Texas Revolution, the famous battle in Texas history, was fought between 200 Texans and 5,000 Mexican soldiers and is a worldwide symbol of fighting in a heroic struggle against impossible odds. The answer to that question is C, and Texans everywhere urge you to remember the Alamo. Number five, Texas leads the nation in what economic activities? The correct answer is D. They are first in cattle ranching, oil production, and cotton production. Thank you for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe.